Title, End Zone, in the heart of Kansas City, as the autumn sun began to set, a buzz filled the air. The stadium was alive with excitement, fans clad in red cheered for the home team, the Kansas City Chiefs, who were gearing up for their latest game. Among them was Travis Kelsey, star tight end, and his girlfriend, Taylor Swift, who had recently become a staple in the stands. The couple had been the talk of the town, their relationship blossoming in the public eye, bringing together the worlds of sports and music. However, behind the scenes, things were not as harmonious as they appeared. Recently, a highly publicized dispute erupted between Taylor and hip-hop mogul Diddy after he had made comments during an interview that suggested the pop star was out of his league when it came to dating athletes. The media frenzy that followed was relentless, with tabloids spinning narratives and fans taking sides. That evening, just hours before the game, Travis was in the locker room preparing for the kickoff. He couldn't shake the anxiety that had settled in the pit of his stomach. He loved Taylor, but the pressure of the media circus surrounding them was becoming unbearable. He had seen her radiate confidence on stage, but now, after the Diddy Row, he could see the shadows of doubt creeping into her eyes. As the game began, the tension between them grew palpable. Taylor cheered from the sidelines, trying to maintain her composure, but the whispers in the crowd only added to her unease. It wasn't long before the cameras caught her expression, a mix of support for Travis and the pain of feeling scrutinized. During halftime, as the players gathered in the locker room, Travis pulled aside his close friend and fellow teammate, Patrick Mahomes. Man, I don't know how much longer I can handle this, he confessed, running a hand through his hair. It feels like the world is watching us, waiting for us to fail. Patrick nodded knowingly. You guys are in the spotlight, bro. Just remember why you fell for her in the first place. Don't let the noise get to you. But it was too late. When the game resumed, Travis played with intensity, but the thoughts of his relationship began to weigh him down. After a hard-fought victory, he found Taylor waiting for him outside the locker room. She had a bright smile plastered on her face, but Travis could see through it. Great game, she exclaimed, wrapping her arms around him. But the embrace felt strained, and Travis could sense the tension lingering. Thanks, Tay, can we talk? He asked, his voice low. They stepped away from the jubilant crowd, into a quieter corner of the stadium, where the sounds of celebration faded into the background. Is everything okay? Taylor asked, her brow furrowed in concern. Travis hesitated, searching for the right words. I love you, Taylor, but, this media circus is taking a toll on us. It feels like we can't just be us anymore. Taylor's face fell. I know, the Diddy thing blew up in ways I never imagined. It's hard for me, too. I'm constantly in the spotlight, and I just want us to enjoy this time together. I want that too, he said, his voice thick with emotion. But I don't know if we can do this while the world is watching us so closely. It's affecting our happiness. Taylor sighed deeply, her eyes glistening with unshed tears. Are you saying we should end this? Travis looked away, his heart breaking. I think we need to take a step back. I don't want to hurt you, but I also don't want to keep pretending everything's fine when it's not. Title. Breaking the Huddle. In the bright lights of the Arrowhead Stadium, where the Kansas City Chiefs had just clinched another victory, the atmosphere was electric. Travis Kelsey, the star tight end, had been riding high, not just from the game but from the whirlwind romance with pop sensation Taylor Swift. The couple had become the talk of the town, captivating fans with their chemistry both on and off the field. However, the night after the game, a storm was brewing. While Travis celebrated with his teammates, Taylor was caught in the midst of a brewing controversy. Diddy, the iconic hip-hop mogul, had made headlines with an unexpected comment during a late-night interview about his romantic past with Swift. We had a spark once, but Travis has got her now. Good luck keeping her happy. He joked, but the laughter didn't sit well with Travis. When Travis first heard Diddy's comments, he brushed them off, thinking it was just a passing remark. But as the night progressed, social media exploded with speculation. Fans dissected every word, and tabloids rushed to print headlines that implied a rift between the new couple. Travis found himself distracted during post-game interviews, answering questions about his relationship instead of celebrating his team's success. Back at Taylor's apartment in New York City, the atmosphere was different. 
She sat in her living room, the glow of her phone illuminating her face as she scrolled through endless notifications. Diddy's comment had reignited an old flame in the eyes of the public. She felt trapped between her past and present, and it weighed heavily on her heart. Taylor called Travis, hoping to ease the tension that was spiraling out of control. Hey, it's me, she said softly when he picked up. Hey, T, he replied, the warmth in his voice barely masking his irritation. Did you see what Diddy said? Yeah, I did, but it was just a joke, right? Taylor attempted to defuse the situation. Yeah, but it's not just about that. I don't want to be a punchline or a trophy in a game, Travis said, frustration creeping into his voice. I thought we were in this together. The conversation grew heated, as they both aired their grievances, old wounds surfaced, rumors of jealousy, past relationships, and the challenges of being in the public eye. The pressure was palpable, and what began as a playful exchange turned into a serious discussion about their future. I can't keep living like this, Travis finally said, his voice heavy. It feels like everyone else has a say in our relationship. I need to know if you're with me or if I'm just the latest headline. Taylor sighed, realizing the weight of his words. I care about you, Travis. I really do, but I can't control what people say. You know my past is complicated, but so is yours. There was a long silence on the line, both of them lost in thought. Finally, Travis broke the silence, his tone shifting from frustration to resignation. Maybe it's better if we take a step back. We need to focus on ourselves for a while. I don't want to be just another chapter in your story. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Taylor's voice trembled. Yeah, I think we need to officially end things, he said, the finality of his words hitting like a heavy tackle on the field. Tears welled up in Taylor's eyes. I don't want to lose you, but maybe you're right. We both need space to figure things out. With a heavy heart, they hung up, both feeling the weight of their decision. Travis stood in his kitchen, staring blankly at the wall. He'd just broken up with one of the most famous women in the world, and yet he felt an odd sense of relief mixed with sadness. Meanwhile, Taylor sat alone, grappling with the reality of the relationship she had cherished but could not control. Title, The Final Showdown, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift Part Ways. The lights were dim in the cozy Kansas City penthouse that had once been the epitome of love and laughter. Travis Kelsey sat on the edge of the couch, running his fingers through his short, messy hair. Across from him, Taylor Swift stood with her arms crossed, her expression unreadable, but the tension between them was thick. Just days ago, everything seemed perfect. The power couple had become the talk of every tabloid. Their whirlwind romance had captivated fans, blending the worlds of pop music and professional football in an unexpected but seemingly perfect match. But as it often goes with fame, the cracks began to show when the pressure hit. The final straw had come earlier that week after a private event. Diddy, who was known for his extravagant gatherings, had thrown a lavish party in New York, and the couple had attended. Everything seemed fine until rumors surfaced the next morning. Whispers of a row between Travis and Diddy quickly spread. According to insiders, Diddy had made some offhand comments about Travis's career, sparking a heated exchange. At first, it seemed like just another celebrity spat, but as the rumors grew, so did the tension in Travis and Taylor's relationship. Taylor, who was no stranger to drama, had tried to brush it off, but Travis was fuming. Diddy's words had hit a nerve, and the media frenzy that followed put even more pressure on their already fragile relationship. As news outlets speculated about the altercation, Travis found himself bombarded with questions, not about his performance on the field, but about his relationship with Taylor and his feud with Diddy. Back at their penthouse, Taylor had tried to reason with him. Travis, it's just noise. You know how the media is, she had said, her voice calm but firm. We can't let this get between us. But Travis wasn't having it. It's not just the media, Tay. It's everything. Diddy, the cameras, the constant pressure. This isn't what I signed up for. And now here they were, days later, standing on the precipice of a decision neither of them wanted to make but knew was inevitable. Taylor's eyes softened, but her voice remained steady. So, this is it. We're really doing this. Travis looked up at her, his heart heavy but resolute. I love you, Taylor. I really do. But this life, the constant scrutiny, the headlines, the drama, it's too much. I thought I could handle it, but I can't. Not like this. 
There was a long pause as the weight of his words hung in the air. Taylor, ever composed, nodded slowly. I get it, Travis. I really do. This life isn't easy, but I thought we could handle it together. He stood up, walking over to her and gently taking her hands in his. We gave it a good run, didn't we? His voice cracked, betraying the emotions he was trying to hold back. Taylor smiled softly, a tear slipping down her cheek. Yeah, we did. For a moment, it felt like the end of an era, two stars colliding, only to drift apart again. They embraced one last time, holding each other in the silence of the room. As they pulled away, Taylor gave him a final, wistful look. I'll write a song about this, you know. Travis chuckled through his sadness. I'd expect nothing less. With that, Taylor grabbed her coat, her heels clicking softly on the hardwood floor as she made her way to the door. She paused for a moment, hand on the doorknob, and looked back at him one last time. Take care of yourself, Travis. You too, Tay. And just like that, she was gone. Travis stood in the quiet of the apartment, the echoes of their love still lingering in the air. He knew the world would be talking about this for weeks, maybe even months. The headlines would explode. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift call it quits. The Diddy drama would be dissected, analyzed, and gossiped about endlessly.